insecurity is one issue that is debilitating the, uh, our country, Nigeria, and uh, it has been for a decade. Well, mind what happens in Bidubur mm. or prison. Mm. A small uh, baby or a young lady at the age of be- below 14 years mm. was being tied with this bomb. Mm. Advice, especially to parents and to youths. Uh, you recall that it was initially the elderly ones of the members of the Boko Haram are the ones that are carrying this bomb in the name of uh, being holy. That mm. once you die uh under these circumstances you have performed jihad mm. that was the kind of indoctrination that they had so they were killing themselves just like that and killing innocent like. citizens uh, of nigeria in the name of uh, being holy mm. uh when the people the populace now realized what was going on once they saw someone looking uh, suspicious uh, everybody stay away and then uh, leave the area mm. now they discovered that the next stage was to they begin to use women Elder, elderly women mm. and when the people also realize that they also are staying away from such things then later they resort to using much younger uh, male male males and much younger females mm. uh, 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 that, that is when i say much younger those that are not up to 18 years old who those who do not really know they are left from their right mm. so now if you look at that circumstances like i said it is something that has started long ago that it went fallow and now it is resuscitating itself again mm. um you, you, the, the reality is that most of these youths that are being used to perpetrate this act do not even know what they are carrying like the little girl that uh, they told they terminated that one of goza mm. uh, she's below 14 uh, naturally she may not know that what she's carrying is a bomb they may have indoctrinate her to make her understand is something that is going to be good when she go to the public mm. she draw here and they, nothing is going to happen and but she didn't know that she's going to die if she knows she's going to die i'm sure even at the age of 14 mm. there was no way how she will accept it's not doing yeah, because uh, no matter the indoctrination mm. uh, but then so you can see the issue is like you said is to parent parents should be able to educate their children and words to understand the implication of doing these things i think it is the responsibility not only that of parent the government itself mm. should also go into most especially ministry of information national orientation okay. agency yeah. uh, needed to go to work to make to begin to in, uh, in, in, in inform nigerians Education. educate nigerians yes. let them know the implication of these things and then by the time nigerians come to know when the parents are in the knowledge they will also educate their own children to understand the implication of such things so that if by paraventure anybody tr- attempt to do uh, use them to do such a thing they will not accept to do it even if they are forced to uh, the thing is tied on them they could approach uh, maybe security agencies where they they are professionals they know how to detonate uh, these things and they with their assistance they can also get the people that uh, send them and then possibly for them to be arrested or neutralized mm. i think parents need to go to work a government also need to go to work minister of information uh, a, a national orientation agency seriously needed to go to to work in order to find solution to this uh, uh, how do you see that equipment and to what extent are you reaching you know the benefit of that uh, equipment in the hands of our military officers if you recall you see that in the last one month there is yes there is a situation of uh, kidnapping and then the uh, the, the uh, bombardment at goza and what have you but uh, you will also agree with me that the situation is getting calm mm. the, the thing is getting under uh, control, control right now as i speak to you this is uh, thank god uh, we had such equipment that our soldiers our uh, security agencies are now using uh, effectively and then uh, with a lot of strategy mm. plans and then uh, with a good arrangement that is being done with credible intelligence and then swift action once the intelligence is uh, is gotten is what is bringing uh, the situation to calm to calm now uh, believe me those equipment are very very useful our troops need more of uh, such equipment that uh, they needed some more sophisticated uh, equipment more scientific equipment on how to uh, fight banditry kidnapping cattle rustling secessionist agenda and all security uh, challenges that we are having today uh, in nigeria so it is a good thing the the chief of defense staff the minister of defense the federal government uh, put together are uh, doing their best to see that there's a purchase of uh, a sufficient equipment that will be used mm. in curbing the insecurity and also the security challenges that um, 